That's right, Cynthia. Usually when we think of ocean contamination, we think of water bottles, plastic bags, and other plastic items. But now scientists want you to keep an eye out for the tiny materials that are used to make those plastic products. Only a few nurdles have been found so far here locally, but scientists say it's likely we'll start to see more of them and just kind of thumb through the rack like this. Maya Burke isn't looking for shells. Nurdles are very, very small. She's searching for these tiny plastic pellets that are used to manufacture larger plastic products. They've washed ashore coastlines all over the world. And Maya Burke of the Tampa Bay Estuary Program recently found two right here in Tampa Bay. It was totally a case of mixed reactions. It was like, is this one? Oh my goodness. And then I was like, ah. Oh. I really didn't think I was going to find any. I can't believe I did. Burke is a member of the Nurdle Patrol, a citizen science effort that started last year. Its founder, Jace Tunnel, says nurdles are found by the handful along many Texas beaches. People are going out and within a 10 minute period, they can find up to 200 of them. Tunnel says the highest nurdle concentrations in Texas are in the base systems where the manufacturing plants and factories are located. Nobody was looking uh, at how many they were, uh, how far they had spread. Uh, nobody had any plans to try to clean them up or find who spilled them. So we need to be cognizant about what, how, how we choose to, to tread on this planet. Scientists say animals confuse nurdles for food and their consumption can have deadly effects. So for 10 minutes a day, they urge beachgoers to look for the plastic pellets and report any findings to the Nurdle Patrol Facebook group. The Nurdle Patrol has collected about 80,000 nurdles since it started back in November. Its mission is to find out where they are coming from.